Go for engine start, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia, reaching new heights for women in X-ray astronomy. Mr. Columbia is in the roll. We've got a fuel cell number one. Roger roll, Columbia. We're looking at. Bus sensors off. We're evaluating the fuel pump. Columbia, that's complete, sir. Roger that, Columbia. Looks like we had a transient on AC1. Columbia is now headed downrange, altitude 3.8 3 uh, miles. And as we hear, uh, all systems uh, okay. It looks like the sensor on board. Columbia Houston, you are go with throttle up. Columbia, go with throttle up. And all three engines are back at uh, full throttle. Columbia is now eight miles down range, altitude 14 miles. The flight control team is uh, monitoring the electrical systems on board. Again, all three fuel cells appear to be healthy, as do the hydraulic systems. We're approaching one minute, 50 seconds into the flight. Standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket uh, boosters on the orbiter. Columbia now uh, has burned uh, more than two million pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. Columbia is now 50 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 40 miles, now traveling 3,200 miles per hour. Approaching uh, three minutes into the flight, uh, the next call will be uh, shortly after three minutes, which will be a two-engine call for the transatlantic abort site at Ben Gurir in Morocco. Again, all systems healthy, the hydraulic systems, electrical systems, and the three engines are, are all at full throttle. Uh, no issues that are being tracked. Again, all electrical systems are healthy aboard the orbiter. Columbia Houston, two engine Ben. Two engine Ben. Columbia can reach Ben Greer now in the event of a single engine failure. Again, all three are still at full throttle and uh, there are no issues uh, being reported by the flight control team. All is quiet. 
appears uh, that the electrical uh, issue early on appears to have been a sensor. All systems are again healthy. Columbia is 116 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 58 miles. Traveling now almost 4,500 miles per hour. Columbia, Houston, you are negative return. Columbia, negative return. Columbia can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center now in the event of an engine failure, but all three, again, uh, are doing uh, very well. 